hang on a minute. Sorry. From today, if you want to be a passenger on my bus, or indeed any other form of public transport, you'll have to wear one of these because the government is making it mandatory. And that applies to airports and hospitals as well. So how does that make you feel? Will you just simply avoid these places? Do you worry it will make communication difficult because it muffles the sound and you can't read people's facial expressions? And most importantly, do you think you will interact differently with people because they're wearing a mask? It's made me think about other sorts of masks that we wear. I think we often put on a mask to hide who we really are or how we're truly feeling. We may even mask our social media profile to make our lives look different to how they really are. We may put on a mask when we don't act in line with what we say or believe. If we criticise others for doing something that we do ourselves or if we simply want to just blend in with the crowd. Our word hypocrite which simply means putting on a false appearance while concealing real character traits and inclinations comes from a Greek word. And it was the same word that was used to describe Greek plays where the actors wore masks. It's very difficult to have deep, meaningful relationships if you're constantly hiding who you are behind a mask. It's hard for people to know the real you. And sometimes we can do this so much that we actually begin to forget who we really are. We lose sight of our original identity. It's also easy to become skilled at pretending to be interested in people, at showing compassion or indignation at injustice. But as Christians, we're to live lives that are the opposite of this. We're to be authentic to live lives of integrity, to remember that in God's eyes, we are all fearfully and wonderfully made. When Paul wrote his letter to the Christians in Rome, he told them, don't just pretend that you love others, really love them. He told them to love each other with genuine affection. Interestingly, the word that Paul used here to describe these things, another Greek word, meant literally without hypocrisy. God calls us to be real, to, sin to be sincere. We're called to live to love in a way that goes way beyond pretense, that is costly in energy, time and effort. And personally, I sometimes find that tough. It's demanding. We have to put ourselves out. Being authentic also means acting the same in all situations. For example, being consistent, talking about people in the same way when they're absent as when they're present. But thankfully, we have a role model in Jesus. The only truly perfect, authentic person to have ever lived and who was kind, gracious and humble to everyone he encountered. So as we put these masks on, let's be more concerned about taking our other masks off. Let's love others as God loves us and try to live lives without hypocrisy, to be the genuine, authentic, true people that God created us to be and to be that to the communities around us. Thanks for listening.